but you weren't here so you missed it. Yes, I'm filming right now at the risk of scaring the bejesus out of everyone. But your I, skin looks great. Thank you. I have no makeup on right now. I just came in from gardening with Maddie and oh, it is hot as... It's not that bad but then like the in the sun, sun really it's strong. like ow. It's a war zone out there. The ants were eating Maddie to death. Yeah. She got a lot of bites on her feet because we were getting the tomato patch ready to put in the plants. And right now, I'm peeling these potatoes, making uh, gnocchi, because that's what we're making for today. I'm going to make gnocchi in a garlic sauce. I didn't, however, realize that I got Yukons, so the gnocchis are going to be yellow <laughs> instead okay. of white. So, well, you know, no big deal. Yeah, careful there. I have kind of a headache from being out in the sun. I have upper lip sweat, and... I'm so stupid because I didn't put any sunblock on because I didn't think I was going to be out there that long and I was yelling at Maddie, put the 70 on, get your hat. She was even in a, under, yeah, it's right there. I didn't do it because I thought I was just going to be out there planting some stuff and then I got involved oh. in like moving and shaking and I will never cook potatoes and then peel them. I was watching some dumb video and <laughs> on how to make gnocchi. And they said to boil the potatoes before you peel them. I always peel them and then boil them. Yes, it's probably better because, like, you don't lose all of the starch that's going to hold the gnocchi together. But it's also quite a pain in the ass to peel these when the skin is not that, like, solid. Like, if it was a russet or something, I'm sure the skin would come off a lot easier. But these Yukons are such a pain in the butt to peel afterwards. I'm starving. All right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a cucumber for lunch. Okay. I'm gonna have. I'm in, gonna ingest a large gust of wind when I go outside. Maybe share a bagel with the garbage. All right. I stole all that. Sorry. All right. So <laughs> I forgot to tell you. I forgot to show you guys the rest of the recipe. It was two pounds of potatoes boiled, then two and a half cups of flour and one egg and salt to taste. So you mix it up for about you know 15 minutes. It's steaming right now because I just put it in about, um, let's see, about 10 cloves of garlic chopped up, some Italian seasoning that I use from the farm store, you guys have seen it a million times, one can of diced tomatoes, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, saute it up when uh, you put it in boiling water. Sorry, I'm like, it's 420 and we should have left it ready for Granny's house and I'm not dressed yet. So, um, Boil it in the boiling water till it floats to the top, then put it in with the fresco sauce. Toss it together. Let it cook for like a minute or so because then it'll suck in more of the juice and the flavor. And then you're ready to go. And I gotta get ready to go. All right, Granny, the tasty taste test falls on you today. How is the gnocchi? Excellent. Oh. Yes, I like them. They were small. They were tasty. What would you rate it out of 10? That's a 10. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that's a 10. There you go, right there. Excellent. Thank you, Granny. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see the picture. Okay. <laughs> we gave this to Granny to make out what it is. Stop, Sean. Stop. And Granny said, it's a one eyed cat. <laughs> That's what like the other eye is covered by the hair. <laughs> the other eye is in the front of his face because that's his butthole. Let's look at it then. How, how come he took it looking like that? He jumped in front of the camera. Oh, see, that would be very difficult to figure out exactly what that is. You know? Oh, well, now that's I, his anus. Yeah, now I see. That's, that's his tail up there. Right, yeah, now I right. See. Was, I'm not used to seeing a picture like that. You know? who, who would be used to seeing a picture of a one-eyed cat like that? <laughs> that's why I couldn't figure Maddie out Maddie made me take that picture. She saw the thumbnail on the computer, and she said, Ma, take a picture of that. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out because nice I, didn't one. It, you know? <laughs> I didn't expect it. I didn't expect it. No one what? expects a cat bunghole. It's very easy. I just do. <laughs> and I do. Alright, so explain it's, yourself. It's dessert time. No, Mark just said, how could you do that? Eat all that. 
We usually have second dessert on Sundays. Yeah. Oh, uh, don't make the fat face at us. Hitting the treadmill hardcore tomorrow. <laughs> Kristen. Rude. And it wasn't that bad. It's not horrible, but it's not like it's what we think of as dessert. That's for you. I don't want it. Hi. Well, I'm not leaving this little bit left. Can you at least have I'm a bite? I'm not showing anything. He said he came in and he said, cake? <laughs> I'm sorry. Cake? He didn't have any last night and now it's going to be gone, so. He's gone. <laughs> Sean's been really into Snow White recently. Mm -hmm. So I was serenading him and he was like, stop singing now. <laughs> Let go. Yeah, and he wanted the net. Which he's not putting in his mouth. Oh, look at that. I just I'm put sorry. my hand under the wash and Kristen turns it off. Hi, Sally. Are you picking? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh oh, some chihuahua wants to come in. We're having dessert. Why are you eating that? Salty. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Hi! Ew. Little baby! Honey, you sure you don't want a scoop? <laughs> that looked weird. Because it was. Okay. Alright. So what are we going to do now? We're going to eat dessert. And? Watch the Tony! <laughs> Whatever you want, you have first pick. I want the least. Small dish? Are you a big bird or a little bird? Yeah. Ew! Why would you do that? I'm gonna throw up. Go away. Get out. Do you eat chocolate and cheese? Oh, hell yeah. Pickles and ice cream? <laughs> Show your face right now. Let me do Maddie. No. Dad, no! Oh, don't spoil it! No spoilers! No! <laughs> I'm so tired. I hope I make it through the Tonys. You won't, but I'll leave it I'll leave it on the list for you. Excuse me. Is your finger over the Was it? I don't know. Alright, what do you have to say for yourself? What do you got to say? You got the honors. I'm tired. Take it to Sean. He knows what to do. Sean. You really know the name of the face. Sean, what do you have to say? Uh, you're mm -hmm. not sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what he has to say. What do you have to say? What do you say? Just tell him the first word. And until next time, what's up?